Uh, hello, um, today we are going to terminate a Profibus cable into a Profibus connector. And as you can see, this is the cable we'll be using. Anyway, it's a purple Profibus cable. So I have a cable ready. And uh, this is the connector we are going to use. You see the part number all there? Right. And this is the cutter. I mean, this cutter will make your life a lot easier. So as you can see, as you move this thing, I gotta go one, two, three, four. The blades, enough blades gonna stick out to do a proper connection, a proper cut actually. So, back anyway so yeah this will make your life a lot easier um, anyway so when I do that I just measure it just go by this one then I just put my fingernail right there it's just kind of enough length so then just put it into this way, put it into this connector. All right now, I'm gonna rotate this, the top knob, one. Make sure it's sitting flat inside so we'll do a perfect cut so then I go one two three and more get you the okay four so you got the, the tab pushed four times in so now I got a pretty good grip. So just got it. Now turn this connector. So now you can see it start cutting it. You'll see two cuts. One for the shield, one for the front section. So once you had enough spin, you see the whole thing so now you unlatch this and you got the cable cut and you just gotta take this front piece out The shield section cleaned so simply you push it able, able to push it out so these are just a uh, spacer so I'm gonna cut those off too Okay, so the, cable, the cable is ready. Now we're gonna open this connector. connector so we can simply open this 
flathead screwdriver. Has a quite a bit of turning. Okay, now we should be able to open this. Okay, flip it open. So now you have these two. So this is in, this is out. So if you're um, daisy chaining, for example, with a few devices, so bring the cable into this. Actually, you can see it here, arrow pointing in, going out. So it's nothing, it's just pretty much a... Anyway, so the... Um, this one going in so you're gonna lift this up you can see on the side so lift this up and your cable is already ready so green goes to green red goes to red so just simply insert it and push it all the way in okay now you can see through the top clear part green wire and red wire so now once you push it in all the way then you see now you got to push it down so it will cut through then make the connection so here all right so technically what you're doing if you see if you look through inside there's a blade inside so now you have the connection really made so now make sure you got the shield once you cut them right you you're good but um making sure this shield is touching that the ground connector there the ground metal so now put, put this in use a small head screwdriver and just secure in place then you got the connection made so if you, like I said earlier, if you want to continue this, let's say this is your last connection point, then just move this terminal resistor to be on position. See here. So on or off, right? You see the tiny writing here, on, off. So if you put it on, that means you are using the resistor. If it's off, that means you could connect you could take another cable going out to another device. So in my case here, I just, this is my last device. So I just put it in, then turn this resistor on. So that telling my loop, this is your end of your, end, end of your device, end of the loop. So um, that's pretty much it. So now, yeah, these are pretty easy connection. I know it used to be, um, you had to be very careful with all that, but now it just wants to latch in and screw it in. It's, it's not going anywhere. So it's a very stable connection. All right, thank you for watching.